Let us understand some of the important chemical properties of alkanes. Alkanes can undergo only substitution type of reaction. They cannot undergo addition reaction. What do we mean by substitution reaction? Here one atom or one element comes in the place of another element. One is replaced by another. Such reactions are referred by the name as substitution reactions. Now let us take up an example. Halogenation. Though halogenation means additions of halogen, actual reaction that is taking place with respect to alkanes is substitution process. So halogenation is a general name. We can carry out either chlorination, bromination or iodination by this method. Usually we do not carry out the process of fluorination because fluorine is highly reactive. Now let us take up the example as chlorination. And let us carry out the process of chlorination with the first member of alkane namely methane. Methane when subjected to the process of chlorination in presence of diffused sunlight. This condition is very very essential for this process to set in. Only in the presence of diffused sunlight that energy is taken by this chlorine molecule which will undergo homolytic fusion forming the chlorine free radical. For that to happen the presence of diffused sunlight is a must. So now what happens there? In presence of diffused sunlight, this chlorine molecule splits up into free radical. One chlorine free radical which is obtained by the splitting will attack the methane molecule and will remove the hydrogen from the methane. And in the place of hydrogen, it will take the attachment. Now, the coming out hydrogen will combine with one more Cl which is present forming HCl. So, the products obtained are CH3Cl plus HCl. So, what is CH3Cl? Chloromethane. This is its IUPAC nomenclature. Methyl chloride is its trivial nomenclature. Now, how do we obtain chloromethane or methyl chloride? This is the first substituted product by subjecting methane to the process of chlorination in presence of diffused sunlight. Now the process will not stop there when we have taken excess of chlorine and we maintain the same condition. This proceeds. So in the next step, this chloromethane which is obtained in step 1 will undergo further chlorination. Now what happens now? One more chlorine atom from this molecule will replace one hydrogen. And the hydrogen which comes out here will again combine with the second chlorine atom forming HCl. So what do we have? Now instead of 3H we will be getting 2H. So CH2 and there is only one Cl. One more Cl would be there now which has come in the place of a H. So therefore CH2 Cl2 along with HCl. What's the name of this compound? Dichloromethane. Because it's a substituted product of methane and we find the presence of two chlorine there. So therefore, dichloromethane or 
methyl dichloride that's a trivalent nomen clature in the next step this dichloromethane will undergo further chlorination when we maintain the same condition what happens this one more chlorine will replace one hydrogen and that coming out hydrogen will combine with other chlorine forming hcl so what do we have ch cl3 and hcl what is ch cl3 trichloromethane now this is a very important compound popularly called chloroform which is used as a an anesthetic drug chloroform now don't get confused between ch3cl ch3cl is chloromethane and chcl3 chcl3 is chloroform or trichloromethane the next step because there is one more hydrogen this will also be substituted by chlorine so ch cl3 plus cl2 in the presence of diffused sunlight one chlorine will replace this hydrogen the last hydrogen and this coming out hydrogen will combine with the other chlorine atom therefore we will end up in the formation of ccl4 tetrachloromethane tetrachloromethane this is its iupac nomenclature and carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride its trivial nomenclature and it's a more popular name this is an inert solvent and dissolves many organic compounds in it and then hcl is formed along with that so like this all the four hydrogen atoms of methane by the end of chlorination would be substituted by chlorine so that we will end up in the formula as ccl4 the last product of substitution is carbon tetrachloride so now the chlorination of methane has proceeded in four steps for completion similarly same kind of reactions would be observed even with respect to ethane propane butane so on since we have six hydrogen atoms in ethane the same reaction will happen in six steps like how we had the occurrence of chlorination of methane in four steps because in each step hydrogen was getting substituted in the same way when we carry out the process of halogenation maybe chlorination or bromination this six hydrogen atom of ethane would be replaced in six steps and finally we we'll land up in the formation as C2Cl6 so what would be the name of this compound the final substituted compound of ethane hexachloroethane similar process happens even with respect to propane butane and so on